can't mess with rappers, they be bogey. Where they get a pack and keep the whole big dripper stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get low. He ain't poppy, yeah, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket off from motion. Shout out, switch and sweet and keep me rolling, but it. Yo, it's your boy Duda back at it again with another video. I'm feeling groovy. I'm feeling you feel me tight, man. I look. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Juanese Entertainment just dropped this 12 hours ago. Creepy, true story, scary story, 40k views. So he really be on top of shit. And I'm trying to get like him. And I don't know if y'all know this, but we finna go ahead and open a new tab right quick. Don't look at my search history because y'all don't know what I. I don't really want to tell you so I'm gonna go ahead and skip past that but if we go to my channel right here you know what I'm saying whoopsie whoopsie yeah you hear me you feel me 4.7k subscriberaries like like it's really showing that y'all messing with me and and I really fuck with y'all for that because you know what I'm saying like 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 excuse my language <laughs> don't demonetize me YouTube but I really mess with y'all for that like y'all I really mess with y'all for real for real so yeah like like real and Tyson you feel me Tyson all right come on let's get into it man I ain't gonna really do too much talking because I know like when it comes to that scary shit, y'all wanted to build up, y'all wanna feel it, but y'all wanna chill with me at the same time. So I'm trying to get one special, the two for two combo, the little biggie bag, you you tight shit. Yesterday, a fifth missing person has been filed in Ville Same. The fifth missing person, Ella, was also a five foot two tall girl. This has proved that speculation that the kidnapper only targets females who are exactly 5 foot 2 tall is true. The families of the victims are enduring hellish days, as no missing person has been found yet. The photos shown on the screen now are the missing persons. If you have witnessed them, please file a report by calling the number below. There has already been a fifth disappearance in our neighborhood. The kidnapper seems to be the same person. This is because all five victims were girls exactly five foot two tall. The police speculated that the kidnapper was a pervert obsessed with the figure five foot two. Investigations continued on the serial disappearance cases that lasted oh, one second, Chuck. Like for several months, but the whereabouts of the missing persons were unknown, and there was no one who witnessed a kidnapping taking place. Rather, the village was quiet and peaceful. Kaylee, come home right after school. You must never walk around alone. If you need me, call me anytime and I'll pick you up. My mother, who was watching the news beside me, said with a worried face, Mom, don't worry too much. I'm five foot three tall. Don't say that. You should always be careful. All five missing people were exactly five foot two, as if they were measured with a ruler. So don't worry too much, and I'll be careful too. I said calmly to reassure my mother, but I was scared as well. Two days later, I was walking with my friends on my way home from school, and many police cars and ambulances were parked at the entrance to the village's forest, and people were carrying dead bodies covered with white cloth on stretchers. The bodies of the missing victims were found buried here and there in the forest. The bodies of four people were already decomposed, and turned into white bones, and the search team was surprised when they found Ella's body, who disappeared three days ago and had not yet decomposed. This was because the body did not have a single piece of skin left. The police judged that the culprit was likely to be a butcher who professionally trimmed meat based on the elaborately peeled skin off the body. So the butchers living in the village were investigated, but the investigation was at a standstill because no evidence was found. As the investigation intensified, as if the culprit became more cautious, no more victims occurred and several months passed. The incident settled down, but five foot two tall females never went out alone, and there were even families moving to other neighborhoods to protect their daughters. I'm not even gonna lie to you though, like, like five foot female that's what you chose to go after like don't get me wrong you feel me 
I love my midgets. You feel me? Like I really do mess with my midgetaries. You feel me? Like like my love, my little fun size Kit Kats. I really be messing with y'all. Y'all really sexuary. You feel me? Y'all sexually. You know what I'm saying? I really like I like y'all small. I like y'all. You feel me? But but kidnapping them and killing them is crazy. Cause like why you can do that when you can spit game and get all of them? You feel me? Get all the little fat too, girl. You know what I'm saying? No, no. I'm tweaking right now. Am I bugging right now? I'm bugging. Okay, my bad. My bad. After parting with my friends, a woman came out of her yard and greeted me. Hi, do you live here? I'm Luna and I live here. Hello, I'm Kaylee. I live in this town too. Nice to meet you. Kaylee, it's so dangerous these days because of the serial killings. Would it be okay if you wander around alone like this? I'm scared, but I'm 5'3 tall, so I just roam around thinking it's going to be okay. But you have to be careful. I have a daughter named Mia, and I'm worried a lot these days. Luna said, pointing her finger at the window on the second floor of her house. She said, That's Mia's room. She's five feet two inches tall, so I don't let her go out at all. In fact, she saw you pass by through her window and begged me to play with you. So I came out to ask you to play with her. I looked at the window on the second floor at which Luna was pointing, and there was a girl standing by the window, looking down at where I was. Does Mia know me? Yeah, it's been a long time since she hasn't gone out, so it's her daily routine to look out the window, but I guess she wanted to be friends with you who passes by every day. Would you like to play with Mia today? I've also baked a delicious apple pie. Yes, I'd like to. I followed Luna into the house. She's tweaking like that's not the way to go about this. My bad. It's just that sad profile was given sexy and this little like certain predicament and it's really like making me feel better right now. Even though like I was looking at the camera, I was like, damn, on my forehead so big that motherfucker on swole mode. But that sad profile was giving a little beard. You know what I'm saying? Even though I'm young as hell with a beard at 30 years old. But I'm only 17. But we not gonna speak on that. But back to the story. I ain't gonna lie. This shit is hitting but ain't no way you going inside you feel me like she baked the apple pie like that's some, that's some cornball shit or am i tweaking i'm tweaking i ain't gonna say nothing else i'm gonna let y'all watch it her house had a charming interior with floral wallpaper and pretty props and there was a wooden table in the middle of the living room Luna seemed to be working on sewing until now, as on a mint-colored sewing machine, there was a dress that was half-laced. Luna smiled when she saw me looking at the sewing machine and said, I was just making Mia's dress. I make my daughter's dresses on my own. The dress is so pretty. If you become friends with Mia, I'll make yours too. Come on, follow me to the second floor. Luna went to the second floor and knocked on Mia's door. Mia, I've brought you a friend. When she opened the door, there was Mia, sitting on her bed, shaking her hand without saying a word. Her head bowed as she was shy. I smiled brightly and introduced myself to Mia, who was wearing a bucket hat and a black dress. Hello, Mia. I'm Kaylee. I came by because you wanted to be friends with me. Then Mia answered in a small voice. Hello, Kaylee. Thanks for coming to my room. Then Luna happily looked at us and said, Oh, you two have fun. Mommy will bring you girls apple pie. As Luna went down the stairs, Mia asked me, Kaylee, aren't you afraid of the outer world? I'm scared, but I'm five foot three tall, so I just walk around bravely. Mia, I've heard you're five foot two tall. Since you can't go out alone, I think it would be frustrating. Then Mia put her arm across mine and took me to a large mirror in the room and said, I'm five foot three tall now too. That's why I haven't had clothes that fit me lately. Just as she said, Mia and I standing side by side in front of the mirror were the same height. However, when I looked closely at Mia's face and body, something was strange. She was so grotesque as she had skin sewn here and there like a stuffed toy. I couldn't ask her directly about it because I might hurt Mia's feelings, so I just glanced at her. Mia's face was twisted as well, with her skin sewn together as if it had been patched up. Only then did I realize that Mia was no ordinary person. Mia looked at our reflection in the mirror and said with a satisfied smile, Kaylee, I like you so much. It's apple pie time. I'll bring mom. 
come back and get credit for the work you've put in. Come on, Purdue, like, I get it. I'm going to college. Mia went downstairs to get the apple pie, and I had a foreboding feeling about Mia's eccentric appearance. So I sneaked around her room while she was away. I was surprised when I opened Mia's closet. Strange leathers were hanging on four hangers, and when I took one of them out and spread it on the floor, it looked as if a human skin had been peeled off. The arms, legs, and torso were cut so that it could be worn like a suit, and a mask with the face and hair of a person's scalp had been peeled off was also hung in her closet. Ah! What is this? I was startled, and I hurled the unknown leather, thinking I should get out of this creepy house quickly. As I hurried out of Mia's room and went down the stairs, I heard Mia and Luna's voice from downstairs. She's the same height as me. She has a pretty face, so I like her. Hurry up and make me new clothes made out of Kaylee. There weren't any clothes for you to wear because you grew up, but this is good news. Mommy will make you a pretty one this time as well. I saw the mother and daughter walking upstairs through the cracks of the stairs. Luna had a large plastic bag and a sharp kitchen knife in her hand and Mia, who was behind her, had cutting scissors in her hand. I was startled and went back into the room and locked the door. After a while, the mother and daughter found that the door was locked and started knocking on the door. Kaylee? Kaylee? Open the door! I brought some apple pie! I kept my mouth shut in fear. Then I heard Mia's voice saying, Kaylee, what are you doing? Let's play! Open the door! When I didn't say anything, Luna said to Mia, Mommy will bring the keys. I hurriedly looked around the room and found that the only way to escape was to jump out the window. When I opened the window and looked down, it was too high for me to jump out. Suddenly the door burst open and Mia jumped in and pulled me by the waist. As I writhed myself, Luna swung a kitchen knife from behind and I collapsed on the spot. Seeing me bleeding from a huge back wound and suffering in pain, Mia hollered with a mad expression. What are you doing? You cut my new clothes! Are you crazy? <coughs> Mia screamed for a while and sat down sobbing. It's because of you, Mom! You ruined it all! Now I have no more clothes to wear! Look at this! My feet are sticking out because my clothes are too short! Mia's ankle protruded from under the leather on the sole of her foot. There was another foot, and the red skin with dead skin cells and cracks all over was so disgusting that it could not be considered human skin. Luna said, comforting Mia. Oh, it's all mommy's fault. I was in a hurry, thinking she'd jump out the window. Sorry, Mia. Now what? There are so many cops that I can't even get new clothes anymore. Then Luna looked down at me, pondering, and then said to Mia, Mia, I've got an idea. Why don't we wait until the wound is healed and then skin her? Mia's face immediately brightened and she grinned. The mother and daughter taped my wrists and ankles and each carried my legs and torso and went down to the basement. Lights in the basement, I saw a neatly organized cutting room with bright white lights. On the large work table, a belt was installed to bind limbs and surgical tools and cutting supplies were placed on the table. They laid me down on the work table brought antiseptic and bandages, and started treating my wound. That's how I was locked in the cutting room until the wound healed and their treatment to obtain my leather began. The mother and daughter brought soup, bread, and water and fed me, applied medicine to the wounds frequently, and tied my limbs to the work table during the rest of the time. Look at this, Kaylee. You've become so famous. The devil, like Mia, would often show me news by holding her tablet PC in front of my eyes. On the news with an exasperated voice, the anchorman was saying that a six missing person had occurred, along with my picture, which was followed by my mother crying out for help to find me. When I saw my mother on the news, I burst into tears and begged Mia to get me out of here, but there was no use. As time passed, scabs formed on the deep wounds and new flesh began to come out. The fact that the new flesh was coming out meant that my death was not far away. Mia looked at my wound on my back and smiled broadly. Mom, the scab is about to fall off. The new skin is coming out. I think I can make new clothes now. Yes, that's true. I guess I have to start cutting. Mia, could you take off your clothes and lie down? Mia took off her black dress and then started taking off her suit made of human leather as well. 
then the cracked red skin she had hidden under the suit, the shape of her eyes, nose, and mouth, which were unrecognizable, were revealed. Then Mia lied on top of me, and Luna took her measuring tape and began taking her measurements. I shouted for my life while being crushed by Mia, but they seemed to think of me as nothing more than leather for tailor-made clothes. Then I heard the doorbell outside. Luna tilted her head in bewilderment and said to Mia, There's no one who'd come home. Just keep an eye on Kaylee so she doesn't scream. She hurried out to the front door and Mia whispered as she thrust a sharp cutting shear into my neck. Shh, Kaylee, be quiet or I'll stab you ruthlessly in the neck with this thing. I knew very well that Mia could never hurt my body. Help me! When I cried out, Mia startled, clamped my mouth shut, and I bit her fingers as hard as I could. I screamed once more when she collapsed, grasping her fingers. Help me! There's someone in the basement! Shortly after, the cutting room door burst open and the police rushed in. Kaylee? Yes, it's me! The police freed me and helped my way out, but Mia, who had fallen on the floor, rushed at the police with cutting scissors and swung at them. She shouted, Don't take my clothes! No, I don't have any clothes I can wear! Surprised, the police shot her, and Mia collapsed and died on the spot. Then, Luna, who was being held by the police outside, screamed, Mia! My baby! What did you guys do to my daughter? Leaving behind Luna's outcry, I got out of the hellish house, got into the ambulance, and was able to meet my parents again at the hospital. A long series of murders came to an end when a sixth missing person was dramatically rescued from the perpetrator's house. The killer's name is Luna, a middle-aged woman who has worked as a tailor all her life. It turned out that she lured girls of the same size into her house, murdered them, and skinned them into suits for her daughter, who had a rare skin disease. I'm sorry for all the ads, because as soon as y'all watch videos, it's going to be ads. <laughs> you feel me? But yeah, man, that was, that was fire. It wasn't too scary, but it was decent. I ain't going to lie. I feel like... I feel like I might have to I might have to upload another one. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like it was decent, but it, it was it enough for y'all? Well, y'all like let's watch another one. Comment down below if y'all want to watch another one. Cause I usually drop them every Friday, but if y'all like these and they like, damn, that bit was bullshit. I'll drop another one for y'all. You feel me? But without further ado, man. My bad. Without further ado, man. Go ahead and drop a like, subscribe, turn that post notification bell. Rock out with your boy. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing but love, gang. I'll see y'all in the next video. I can't mess with rappers, baby, boy. Brother, get a pack and keep it open. Big dripper, stand up in the ocean. Everybody trapping, we get open. He ain't focused yet, but he ain't got motion. Made a half a ticket, not promotion. Shout out to Sushi Sweet, he keep me rolling. But if we get the opposite.